in this video we'll see a basic example on classification in the market now in the previous sections we have seen classification is a method of defining a traffic in different class maps and then marking is a method of adding some extra information to the packets so in this scenario I'm going to take one small example where I have three different types of traffic I got an HTTP traffic here and I want to ensure that HTTP traffic leaving the interface on the router 1 as 1 by 0 should be marked with the precedence value of 2 and then I also got some voice traffic with IP traffic which is within the range of using the UDP ports from 16.384 to 32.767 should be marked with a DSCP value of expedited forwarding and all the remaining ICMP packets should be marked with IP presence value of 1. Now I got an EHRP pre-configured on both the routers and if you verify show IP EHRP neighbors I have EHRP pre-configured on both the routers. So the first thing will we need to create three different class maps which is going to match uh, three different categories of the traffic. So the first one is HTTP, Vivo IP and ICMP. Now to match all the HTTP traffic we can create one class map and we can define an option called match protocol HTTP. Now the good thing about the Cisco IOS is it can you can use something called network based application recognition where we can directly match a specific protocol uh, any specific protocol we can match uh, as once we give this command match protocol HTTP it's going to match all your HTTP traffic running on any port numbers okay it can be running on port number 80 or it can be any other port numbers it's going to match the HTTP traffic now the next thing is we need to create another class map uh, which is going to match my UDP traffic uh, the VYP traffic but before I go with the class map I need to create an access list so I'm going to create an access list with a name called voice which is going to be extended and then I'm going to say permit UDP any any and I'm going to match the range of the port numbers so all your VYP traffic uses the range of port numbers from 16384 to 32767 okay and then i'm going to exit so if you go show ip access list so there is an access list which is created with a voice which matches the udp traffic from 16384 to 32767 and then i need to create another class map which is going to match my voice traffic so voice class map and then I can say match access group voice access group name voice it's a named ACL so we need to say match access group name and name and ACL name and I need to create another class map the third class map is ICMP traffic which is going to match protocol ICMP so it's going to match my protocol ICMP now if you verify the configuration if I give show run class map I can see there are three different class maps created one matches the voice traffic another matches the ICMP and the third classification is based on HTTP traffic now we need some different markings as they leave the interface now we classified and we need some markings so to do the marking we need to get into the policy map any name for the policy map now we need to define the class first we'll start with HTTP and then what is the marking we need we need to set IP precedence value of 2 and then the next class is vivo IP we need to say set DSCP value uh, DSCP values we can use expedited forwarding and then the third category is the third class ICMP it's going to mark with a precedence value of 1 and then I'm just leaving it blank so if we verify show run policy map you can see inside the policy map we have defined three different classes and we have different we have defined different marking values for each and every class now the last step is to apply on the interface leaving router 1 on the router 1 s1 by 0 is the interface so we need to say service policy output and the name of the policy map done now for verifying we can say show policy map interface s1 by 0 now on this interface you can see it matches HTTP traffic and matches the protocol HTTP and it's going to set the presence value of 2 right now there's no real traffic which is coming so and then voice traffic and you'll see the packet marked with a DSCP expert forwarding leaving the interface and there is an ICMP traffic match matches the presence value of 1 
So I'll try to generate some traffic from router one. I'm going to generate some traffic for ping. I'm going to generate some 10 prepaid packets. If I verify show policy map interface, now you should see 10 packets matched and you can see the 10 packets has been mapped. So similar way, if you have a real time traffic, which is coming from voice, probably you will see the packets marked here. And similar way, HTTP traffic, if you have, then probably you'll see the packets marked here.